Thank you so much. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. We were talking before just, well, first of all, just how great it is to be playing again in person and in this amazing club. I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning. This was, this was where my uh, last gig as a band leader in person happened in 2020 on March the 1st, actually. So it's just, uh, this is one of my favorite clubs, rooms in the whole world to play. And so it means a lot, and we want to thank Jazz at Lincoln Center for putting these shows on every week, because it's no easy feat, and, uh, you know, putting ourselves out there for jazz music. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, so... I hope, uh, I, I love just this wide range of personalities and different kinds of uh, music and moods and, and uh, this is all very new, so I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. So I think uh, I was very fortunate to get, you know, one of the things, one of the many things that gave me hope that, you know, when I was first sitting there contemplating sometime in March and April looking I felt like the wreckage of my life all around me um, was just different organizations, you know, like Jazz and Lincoln Center and other people who kind of retooled their uh, activities and reached out and continued giving artists the chance to keep making music. Uh, one of them, Jazz House Kids in, in New Jersey, WBGO. So that really... Uh, was another lifeline of sorts, you know, just to, to know that there was going to be a way through this and the music would continue. And one of the many organizations that formed to help artists is called the Jazz Coalition. And they were um, giving out, I think they're still giving out grants to artists to encourage them to write music about their experience during the pandemic. And this is uh, a song I wrote uh, for the grant. And I wrote it for New York City and hope you enjoy. This is called Elegy for the City.
Thank you for Elegy for the City. Um, I think I'd like to continue. We'll uh, stay with the flute and play a piece called Coquette. Um, I actually got this melody from Clara Schumann, believe it or not. But we've given it a whole different country <laughs> and vibe, and we hope you enjoy Coquette.
Scott on the drums. Woo! David Wong on the bass. John Ellis on saxophones and flute. Thank you for a coquette. So I think we have time for maybe one more. Okay. Um, this is something else I wrote during the past year or so. I can't believe it's been a year. Um, and this is called Time Loops, because I thought about how the passage of time got really strange during, you know, each day would seem to melt into the next. I wouldn't know what day of the week it was, and then suddenly a month had passed. And, and I'm kind of a science fiction a fan, so I, I like thinking about time and how time doesn't necessarily have to be linear. I haven't experienced that yet, but maybe you never know. So I call this time loops. So thank you so much again for joining us. Um, really want to thank the crew here, John, our sound wizard, and Zach, who's uh, running all the tech, and Roland, and Raynell, and Sarah. I hope that's right. <laughs> you know, uh, we it's, it's still crazy for me to think about how stepping outside of your apartment can be a risky thing these days, even more than usual. And we thank all these people for leaving the safety of their homes so that we could play in this amazing club and share music with you all. So if you're at home, please, oh, I mean, you're probably at home, sorry. <laughs> Give them a big hand. And uh, just, we hope to see you soon. Uh, again, on a stage somewhere in person. So here we go, time loops. Thank you. 